Yep, she's coughing. Oh crap, mom's trying to get up. Get in there. Okay, now grab its legs. And easy does it. Try to flop him out. Pull, girl. Pull, girl. Standing pull. Yep. There she is. Yep, roll it right over. Push its head up. Good, good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stick around for a while. I'm in the middle of the, the road here. We own both sides of this road. It goes down about a mile and a half. The farm's right there. This is our silage corn that we planted. We had a bit of a debacle the other night. Here's a car track on that side of the road. Someone crossed the center line and skidded right down all the way here. They're both right here. All the way down, rode this ditch. Finally flopped in, sheared some corn off here, and we're in. Took out one row, still traveling, two, three rows, almost three, three up here. Tiled field here, and come, look how green that corn is. Ears are starting to form, check it out. Trash these completely took the corn, the corn is gone, completely missing. Must have been, must have car, it looked like a narrow wheelbase. Drug the corn. Kept right on trucking. Realized what was going on. We don't know if this is a drunk driver, someone texting, a kid, whatever it was. Driving a car is uh, it's a big deal, and people are doing things these days, and they're not paying attention. Uh, you kill someone out there. You're lucky this wasn't someone's house. Whoever it was, if you're watching, get your act together. Came in, somehow worked their way. It's a steep ditch here. Out of the corn at this point. Corn, come off the car, right in through here. Whoa, 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 whoa. To get out of a ditch like that, they had to have been just pedal to the metal. And you know it was, because you see from above, he got the squeal marks right here. Burning rubber. So basically launched out of that ditch, hit the pavement, burned rubber, only to lose complete control, cross the center line again, to land up, boom, in our other cornfield. The other silage field that we're gonna be chopping. Whoa, whoa. And look at that ditch, ba boom. They hit there, bounced in here. Look at this corn, man, they trashed it. Went all the way through, like, hey, a little early for a corn maze, don't you think? Let us know if you wanted a corn maze. We would have tried to plant one for you. All the way through, see the farm right there? There's the silos. After gradually making that turn, as the corn starts to get taller and thicker in here, tile field, lots of manure was on this was on this field. They're trying to figure out, I'm assuming, and they straighten out. Look at this. Look at what we're doing. Going here, and I don't know if someone maybe they got and they had to reverse it the way it was edged out. And they finally figured out and found their way. We're gonna head down to the end of the field, see what it looks like. On the way back through, look what we got, guys. It was a burgundy car. We've got, hey, we've got some, that's some damning evidence right there. And we're going, and then they straighten right out. Check the corn though, guys, huh? Never got inside of a cornfield like this, never had to, but so far, so good for this growing season. Possible thunder showers today. Been circling around all day. Just still haven't hasn't hit. Extremely dry here in Michigan. But luckily we put the proper fertilizer. Oh, I'm feeling a sprinkle. They're bouncing around. Let's get the end of that field. And this is where they come out. I drove right by it. You can't hardly see it. Yeah, we're getting sprinkled on. I said, this corn is a little damp now. That was quick. But they came through this headland. This headland's a little shorter. I can't figure if, if they knew 
the lay of this land because if they were smart, they would have just kept going forward. There's a driveway right on the end of that field, opposed to coming down the whole length of this field and trashing four rows out of whack. I mean, whoever it was, I mean, I've done some wild things in one of my youth. I don't think I've ever done something like this. This, this is, you don't, I think you might have to be drunk or on drugs to do something like this. So if anything, just stop. If you're ever in a situation like this, just stop and call someone to pull you out. You don't trash your farmer's field like that. We're figuring it was probably about $2,500 worth of loss at least, but that's a couple loads of, 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 of silage once you're chopping. If they didn't know that there was a lane here, that car would have ended up 15 foot in this drainage ditch. Crossed the center line once, twice, could have rolled that car. I, I was, my brother seen this first and uh, I didn't even know about it. I was, I was milking the cows, but they, they ended up calling the cops. They figured, we don't know what happened. If they've seen someone riding around with a car with corn hanging off. Moral of the story is, take care of yourself, use your head. This is like right behind my house. And this is probably some of the worst damage we've ever had. And uh, surprised I didn't find a car in there flipped over or something. I mean. You, Someone could have been killed. I hope they're I hope they're okay, but just use your head. We don't we're planting this this corn for the cows to eat so they can produce milk so we can feed the world. We got work to do. Let's go. Got a calf here. Just born. Oh, there she went. There she went. I was kind of worried she wasn't moving. You got it here? He had it. Heifer. Heifer. Nice looking cow there, guys. So, so that's one cow today. Meanwhile, we've got another prime cow in here, number 60 feet, trying to come out. That's why we've got two calving pens. Sometimes you need three, but we're gonna help you. Are you gonna be on a calf, bud? Oh, she's coughing. Oh crap, mom's trying to get up. Get in there. Okay, now grab its legs. And easy does it. Try to flop him out. Oh girl. Oh, girl. Standing pull. Yep. There she is. Yep, roll it right over. Push its head up. Good, good. Now she's going right in the full lick hole. Look at the size of it. Well, last night when I was feeding the cows, this silo ended up not spitting any hay out. So it probably needs to be let down. I took this chute down. By the way, I made this, this chute out of a of a 15 gallon detergent jug that we use to wash the milking system. It works good, it funnels right down. I'm tying a rope to this grease gun because when I go up there, I'm gonna wanna give it a grease job. We'll see how low it is, let it down, and uh, cause we're gonna be refilling this shortly. And we're up, hey, nice little workout. Got the blood pumping. What happens is these silos have to be let down each door to door. So what I'm gonna do is, since this is still fairly fluffy, you know, we're only about, I'd say we're a solid 15 feet from the top. We're gonna refill this with third cutting probably here, probably in a couple weeks, but I'll only let this down. I'm gonna clean this up. See, it gets too high and it blows and then it piles and then this can't take it. And then it buries them wheels over there. So I'll let this down only one bar. So then I'll still have these two doors open because sometimes if you put it straight across like that, it does, it still doesn't have enough poo 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 because it's just fluffy yet. But once this silo gets about halfway down or maybe even less than that, but or a little more than that, it gets really hard. And then it just woo. So we're only gonna let it down a bar. Let's get to work. Check out the new roof. It's a lot brighter in here now with them new roofs.
plug this back in and we're getting close okay so doors put in i re-ran that power cord below the door hung it up unstuck it clean this up a little bit all we got to do now is grease it get the heck out of here i've had a lot of good luck with this silo so far knock on wood i made sure all them paddles were free in there new idler pulley new belts and we're good to go one there yeah she needed it guys look at that she was tight i blew i, I blew right through it we're clear and we're good to go all greased up i'm glad i brought that grease gun up here i don't always do that um you don't have to grease it every single time but apparently even after this amount of feed taken out some of them grease fittings they it needed it we'll lower this grease gun down and uh, we'll get out of here and we're out that's a nasty dusty job whoo hot now sweating a little cooler in the mornings with some dew i'll put this chute in if i come down i see we've got a new baby calf and we've got some don't look like the mom looks like some ants that's called a white blaze they got white through there two black eyes nice healthy calf i'm looking between its legs look at that heifer are you guys taking care of her good good appreciate it you guys are standing guard huh put this chute back in make sure it's on the proper angle Spin these. Good to go. Moving on, we're out back by this ag bag. You know how I've been battling them coons. Had some comments on YouTube. A guy says use lime. Spread a lime around the outside of the bag. So we've got lime. It's what we use on like calf hutches after we clean them. It dries everything out, kills all the bacteria. So what I've been doing is I've just been kind of spreading this along here. I mean, look at the kind of damage they did. I've had to do something. Uh, my buddy Mike just came and picked, a, picked up a coon we got last night. So if this ends up working, it's something we're going to have to do every year. I'll probably get done filling the bags this year. Hopefully it works because this bag of lime, it's not overly expensive and it's stuff that we buy anyway. So if we can protect this bag, I'm on a mission to keep these bags is as intact as possible check out this corn guys check out them clouds look at the day we got today beautiful day what a blessing we're gonna know if that that, that line there works because if we don't get a coon here in another week or so or from here on out hopefully we know it's the lime We're down here at the dry cow lot now. I'm gonna mix up some, some spray to kill some weeds around some corn that I don't like and around the pasture fence in the, out behind my house. We haven't, we've been lucky. Put a good shot of chemical in there. We'll mix it with water and uh, do some spraying. We haven't had the heifers get out yet this year. Usually once a year, knock on wood, they seem to get in the corn or darn near. So we're gonna try to keep them from doing that because there's some weeds growing up on that fence. These weeds have been bothering me. Little gap here in the planting. And right, right on this corner, we didn't get the sprayer boom swung far enough. So it kind of took over a little bit. But we're gonna reach in here.
Yeah, now we're on the back side of the farm. I've been dumping them some corn silage out of that bag over there along this fence. And that's been helping them. Because the pasture's pretty much burnt up and I've been giving them a bale of hay too. But this is what I was talking about, these weeds that are growing here. As we get down here, there's some, I mean, look at that, they're right on that fence. They're taking the fence right over. So we've got to kill them all. Look at that corn. Don't worry guys, I turned the fence off. I don't feel like getting zapped. I've been zapped too many times as a kid. My grandfather used to have me grab onto it, make sure it was working. And of course I would do it. Yeah, it's bad in through here. Opening these gates up, sorry already about time to milk. Already about time. Hey, look at the shine on these girls, guys. Wow. Get your shine on. Got the first cow and baby relaxing. We're gonna leave them in here all night. We'll get them some feed and water, and they'll be good to go. Let's check on the other one. We're in the other pen. I wanted to give you a side look at this cow, number 60. He's one of our best cows. This, this is another heifer. Trying to do its first steps right here. But two heifer calves today. And look at the mom. Mom's going in, going to work. Wow. Big boy? You big boy? Whoa. Oh, bye-bye. Guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. We're back in the office. Haven't been in here in a while, but I've been uncovering a lot of things. We're starting to move out, clean out the farmhouse. Uh, it's been two years since we lost mom, so it's been that long since we're finally being able to get our, our act together, I guess. But you've seen it. Big Grant's walking just days before we're going in to have another one. Um... He was, one day, me and Rochelle were in the bathroom, we're looking at redoing the bathroom, maybe this winter if we're lucky, and we're just talking about how, because we can relay that, that was a schoolhouse, the bathroom's big, it's just how you want to do it, and try to do it the right way this time, and out of nowhere, Grant just comes walking right in, we're like, holy cow, and the next, uh, then on, he's been walking, so, that's pretty cool, so yeah, we're going in to have the our little girl here very soon so excited about that I've kind of been all over the place getting ready for it anybody that's had a kid knows that that's everything kind of stops when you have a kid it's like the world just stops in your own little world but yeah back to cleaning out the farmhouse I ended up coming getting some some pictures this was blown up this is like a quarter inch stick and that's what this picture is of mom that's why there's not a frame around it that's like a quarter inch thick piece of plastic and this was their wedding day so I'm, I'm getting all this stuff this was a big family photo um i'm getting a lot of the pictures um whoever wants anything they can get but i've been going through the good part is i've been going through them all i've been sifting through mom had a ton of stuff i mean you can imagine the the, the matriarch of the farm so I'm, I'm trying to sift through all the progression of the farm and so that's going to be coming up when we get done having this baby and we try to get settled back in because it might be a while. I mean, this is going to be it's going to be a lot. But once we get settled in, I found a picture of the original farm where there was zero silos. There was a chicken coop, and it, I'm trying to I'm going to try to put this together. And I found some. And ever since we come on the farm and all the buildings, I'm going to try to do like a progression of the farm. Seventy years this year marks seventy years. So there's going to be a lot of pictures and there's going to be a lot of talk and explaining on, on how it all went down. Um, it's going to be a lot of work, but I think I can, I'm up for the task. Let's just say that. So, hey, a lot of guys bought this farm dad shirt. Appreciate it. Um, that's going to do it for the video. Wish us luck. Little girl's going to be born here. Um, I'm probably going to document it best I can. I might put it on YouTube. I did it for Grant, so I'm going to do it for, for our, our new baby also. So. Hopefully Rochelle plays along.
we don't we don't want to upset her farm focus for a shirt hat tumbler take care see you in the next one god bless